Sage 50 customers that switch to Sage Accounting like the fact that it still feels familiar and is easy to use, so they can get up and running quickly. More new features, tons of learning and support material to help you get started, and we even provide assistance when you do decide to switch. It's never been easier to switch from Sage 50 to our award-winning cloud solution. Sage Accounting gives you the ability to work anywhere, anytime and on any device, with your data stored safely and securely online. No more need to take backups, and Sage Accounting is always up to date with the latest feature improvements, added automatically, ready for you when you next log in. Accessing Sage Accounting is easy. Just open your internet browser and go to sage.com. Click Sign In and under My Products, choose the option for Sage Business Cloud. Enter your email address and password and click Login. It's that simple. You can also access Sage Accounting on your mobile or tablet. Download and install the app then log in using the same email and password. Now you can create quotes and invoices on the go and capture expenses as soon as they happen. Make getting paid simple and reliable. With Sage Accounting, customers can pay you at the click of a button directly from your invoices with the Pay Now feature. Switching to Sage Accounting gives you greater control over your invoices as you can track the invoices you've sent with full visibility of payment progress and when it changes. The new document timeline makes it easy to see the current status of your invoices and it also works with quotes, estimates and credits. You can view the document timeline of an invoice by first going to your invoice list. The status column gives you a snapshot view of the status of your customer invoices. And you can also use this to filter the list, making it easier to manage your unpaid and overdue invoices. To view the timeline, open the invoice you wish to track. And you can see the timeline here. Hover over each of the pips to see the date and time of each event. Once the invoice has been paid, you will also see the date of payment. And click the link to see payments and allocations, useful when there are multiple payments. Connect Sage Accounting to Stripe and you can allow customers to pay you online. Once Stripe is connected, simply toggle online payment within the invoice, then send it to your customer as you would normally. Once your customer receives the email, which we're demonstrating here on mobile, they click to open the invoice and now they are presented with the option to pay now. All your customer needs to do now is simply click through and make the payment directly from their mobile or any other device that's online. And now that simple and easy digital experience for your customer means that you are more likely to be paid on time. Reduce manual invoicing work with recurring sales invoices. A popular feature with our Sage 50 customers is now even better in Sage Accounting. Sage Accounting not only creates invoices for you, but you can choose to email them directly to your customers to get paid even faster. To set up a new recurring invoice, choose the Recurring Invoices tab and click the New button. First, select your customer from the drop-down menu. Under Frequency, choose how often you want the invoice to be generated – daily, weekly or monthly. And select when you want it to start and end. And you now have the option to choose Create Invoices and Email straight away which will automatically email your customer the invoice. The final step is to click Save and you're presented with a Compose email screen where you can draft your email message and choose whether to attach the invoice as a PDF.
With many of us working from home, being connected has never been more important. With Sage Accounting, you can have multiple users logged in at the same time, so you can work seamlessly with your team while all are remote working. Add as many users as you need at no extra cost, with no limits. In the User Management screen in Settings, you can add new users and manage existing users. Click the Invite User button to add a new user. Enter the user's email address and choose the access levels you want them to have. We've created some predefined roles to help you choose the right level for your user. And to give you more freedom, we've added the custom role so you can pick and choose exactly what you want users to have access to. When you're ready, click Save and an email will be sent to the user inviting them to start using accounting. You still have the complete control of user access that you're used to in Sage 50 with new levels of customization and freedom to have as many users as you like in Sage Accounting. Empower your decision making with valuable insights and forecasting through real-time dashboards. All in one place and easy to use. With all your data automatically pulled through to the dashboards, you can keep up to date on the health of your business and plan for the future. Dashboard view is the default starting screen and is presented to you whenever you first log in. The sales and purchases dashboards provide you with a graphical view of the value of your sales and purchases for the period you have selected. All of the dashboards can be run for a specific period by choosing the required date range and clicking calculate. The sales dashboard shows you a breakdown of outstanding invoices by due and overdue plus a breakdown of your quotes and estimates by status, so you can quickly assess where the potential revenue is to be won and lost. The Purchases dashboard again shows you outstanding invoices by due and overdue, so you immediately see how much you owe your suppliers. And a breakdown by ledger account to show you where your money is being spent. You also have a VAT return section of the dashboard, which displays a countdown to the end of your VAT period and a snapshot of your current VAT liability. The cash flow statement provides cash flow analysis for the chosen period, with a further breakdown of cash flow in and cash flow out and your VAT liability. You can also run a cash statement report, which can be exported to CSV or PDF. The cash flow forecast enables you to view your projected cash flow using your live data. You can also add manual adjustments to enable you to perform true cash flow forecasting and planning. Simply click the pencil next to the manual adjustment and this will open the pop-up menu for you to add your adjustment figure and the date and details of the adjustment. Click Save when you're happy and the adjustment will be added to the forecast. Finally, as you did with the cash flow statement, you have the ability to generate a cash flow forecast report to CSV or PDF. And like Sage 50, you still have dozens of powerful reports at your fingertips, so it's easy to drill down into the details you need to gather even more information. In Sage Accounting, you can always see your cash flow position who you owe and who owes you using the interactive dashboards. And because you have instant visibility of key information, you can make data-driven decisions to help your business perform at its best. No need to worry about your data in Sage 50. You can access it whenever you need it. We'll provide you with a read-only license free of charge, so your Sage 50 will remain active and you can easily access historical data anytime. Our Sage experts can guide you through the entire process, making it seamless and easy for you to manage. All your data and documents in one place, 
so you or your accountant can simply calculate, validate and submit compliant VAT returns with the click of a button. Designed with new users at the forefront, combined with our proven experience and expertise in compliance, Sage Accounting makes VAT simple and safe. Just like Sage 50, you can view all of your historical returns in the VAT return list. Click to open up and view a VAT return. You can see when the return was submitted and by which user. You can also print a copy of the return to CSV or PDF, or print a detailed report. Click Create a VAT return to start a new return. Click Calculate when you're ready to generate the VAT return. Just like Sage 50, you can make manual adjustments if you need to. Add in the amount and reason for the change and save it to the return. You can choose to submit online to HMRC or save the return and it will be added to your list as a draft ready for you to come back to it later. Once you've submitted the VAT return, you can record the payment to HMRC from the list. Open the VAT return and click the Pay button. The amount is automatically pulled through. You just need to select the date, choose the bank account and enter a reference. As you can see, simple and easy, but very familiar if you're a Sage 50 user. Working with your accountant is easier than ever before with online collaboration. When your accountant is using Accounting Partner Edition, you simply need to invite them to connect and get started working together online. You won't have to waste time by sending everything to your accountant as they will have real-time access to your data. No need for backups or additional software, you will both have everything you need. Click your business name and then Manage Business Account. Click on the Invite Accountant tab. Simply enter your accountant's Sage email address then choose to send the invite. Once your accountant has accepted, they can access your business data and make changes. All with secure sharing, as the accountant uses their own credentials, not yours. Automatically pull in data from receipts, invoices and bank statements, saving time on admin with the auto entry add-on. Snap receipts on the mobile app, forward emails from suppliers, or scan and upload using your web browser. Data is processed and verified before applying supplier, tax code and category rules, then automatically published into Sage Accounting. Go paperless with data stored securely in the cloud, as there's no need to print and file these paper documents anymore. And right now, auto entry is free for the first three months. Let's look at how we can upload some purchase receipts we've captured and saved on our computer. First, in Auto Entry, click the Upload button for purchases. In the Add Item screen, you can drag and drop files in, or you can browse your PC to choose your image. Select the required receipt and click Open to begin uploading the receipt to Auto Entry. Once the file upload is complete, close the Add Item screen and click All Activity. You can see the item queued for processing. Once the receipt has been processed by Auto Entry, it's time to publish it to Sage Accounting. Go to Processed Items and click View to open the publishing options. Specify the supplier, a ledger category and the date of the transaction. 
choose the VAT rate and reference for the transaction. Then when you're ready, click Publish to post the transaction to Sage. In Sage Accounting, you can see the transaction has been posted. And by opening the transaction, you can easily view the captured receipt. And that's how Auto Entry can help you automate your business and save you time. Pay your people worry free. With our payroll add on, you can pay your employees in just a few clicks. With compliance in tax, auto enrolment, and RTI, never worry again about payslip errors or tax compliance. With the simple four step pay run, processing your payroll is easy and you can provide your employees with payslips in just minutes. Start your pay run by clicking Process Pay Run. Confirm the pay date which defaults to your next pay date. You can change this if you wish. Once you have the date set, click Next to move to Step 2, Absences. Now you can add an absence to your employees' pay using the Add Absence drop-down. Choose the required absence type and complete the absence information. When you're finished adding absences, click Next to move to Step 3, Pay. Here is where you set your employees' payments and deductions. You can add a new payment or deduction using the drop-down menus. For example, to add a new payment, choose the Add Payment drop-down and select Add a new payment. Pick the payment category and then a payment type. The name and description will pre-populate, but we can change these if we need to. Once you've completed the pay for your employees, click Next to go to the final step, Confirm. You are presented with a payroll summary and you also have options to run a detailed report and view individual payslips. Click Complete Pay Run when you're ready. On the confirmation screen, click Confirm, which will finish the pay run and submit your FPS to HMRC. You can email payslips to all of your employees by clicking Email Payslips, which sends them a password protected PDF of their payslip. And finally, seamless connection to your Sage accounts means your salary information has been posted automatically to your accounts, saving you time and preventing errors. That's how you switch your business up from Sage 50 to Fully Cloud. This is Sage Accounting. Meet your Sage expert today to help you get up and running.